Welcome to Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Here we do unboxing videos, we discuss general shoe knowledge, we do worth the price videos as shoe reviews, and we will do shoe battles uh, comparing shoe to shoe so that you can understand the differences. I also speak to experts in the field. So welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. Today we're gonna to take a look at a very interesting brand. A brand that has gone through a few iterations over the past few years and has also uh, really developed an education that has spun off some of the world's most interesting shoemakers. And for that, of course, I can only be speaking of Stefano Bemmer. Uh, and uh, Mr. Bemmer has passed and um, his, uh, his atelier was purchased and kept alive. And the shoes that are coming out of it, which is a pair that I have today to, to share with you, are very good. Um, and I can't tell you um, a lot of the history because I don't know, and I'm not gonna um, plagiarize um, this wonderful book, but if you're interested in some of the story, take a look at this book. This is Shoes, The Art of Male Footwear by Hugo Jacomet and Sonia Glynn. They have uh, some interesting uh, tidbits and then a lot of very interesting pictures of some very unique examples of their shoes. And um, this is actually a shoe that I've actually looked at many times, which is this combination suede and uh, smooth leather. Now, what I... I'm going to share with you is a very different model. It is a T last, actually a TX because it's got a chisel last. And this is T is actually one that's designed by the new owner, but it is a wonderful example of a Bemmer shoe, Bemmer quality. And I can't possibly say that it's as good as an original Bemmer, right, from before the uh, change. But I can tell you that this shoe lives up to the expectations I have of Stefano Bemmer saying, I want to make the best shoes in Italy. Okay. So as I, as I look at this, there's a few things that really stood out to me as I, as I, as I looked at the shoe and as I was, um, you know, ogling it online, as, as many of us shoe collectors do, right? Um, this medallion is so beautiful, so unique, different than anything that I have. Um, this is Vocalu calf leather, um, and I don't know what that means, but I can tell you that it's extremely soft. Um, it develops a very cool patina at the creasing, which I love. And it shines well, holds the shine well, and it just fits into a dark shoe like this extraordinarily well. You can see that the lacing uh, is graduated, so wider at the bottom and uh, you know thinner at the top. Uh, you can see that the they chose to do very very fine gimping. Can't even see the gimping from far away. All right. Their broguing is very precise, very clean. Their fudging is outstanding. All right. And it has a narrow waist, but a simple waist. A very nice, artfully done sole. You can see that I have wear on the sole, but not very much. All right. And it is, uh, it, it is one of the softest pairs that I own. Uh, it hasn't stretched. Um, it has maintained its shape extraordinarily well, and it uh, it just, it, on my feet, it feels like one of the best shoes that I own. Now, I will tell you that Stefano Bemmer has three ranges, and this is the middle range shoe. Uh, there are a lot of really nice touches in doing business with them. Their shoes come with trees. Their shoes come in a wooden shoe box uh, for proper storage, as they say. And um, there are just many, many very cool things about it. Now, um, Fiddleback Waste is your thing. They do have it. Uh, it's available on their uh, Tradizione line. 
this is part of the classical line, so it's, as I said before, the mid-range. And um, as I look at the shoe, as I wear the shoe, it just feels luxurious. And I can't tell you why. Um, you know, I believe that they're hand welted. They do a really good job with that. I know that they use the sole stitch machine, but I know they do most of the finishing by hand. And it is very, very well executed. So that's my thoughts on Stefano Bemmer. I know many of you have many more pairs than I do and much more experience with the brand. This is a brand I will buy more of. Um, I believe that this has to be in my top 40 brands from my book. And, um, you know, it just can't be a book about fine shoes without Stefano Bemmer. And that says so much about the brand and the respect uh, about the brand and the community.